To embark on a path of self-discovery is to claim life's most sacred privilege. It is the cornerstone of wisdom, this quest to unearth the depths of one's soul. The timeless counsel to stay true to oneself is not mere rhetoric. It is the gateway to genuine connection with others. The daunting task of full self-acceptance is where true peace begins to take root. Wisdom often comes from understanding others, yet enlightenment blooms in the soil of self-awareness. And life's a vast stage, and it brims with roles we adopt, masks we don to protect our innermost selves from the harsh light of scrutiny and expectation. But in those rare, still moments, we are drawn to consider who we truly are beneath these disguises. It is the echo of an ancient wisdom, a whisper through the ages. Know thyself. Imagine you're walking through a bustling flea market of existence, where each stall is draped with masks. Not the kind for hiding from a virus, but for concealing our true selves. These masks are the rules we slip on every day. The professional with the smile, the ever patient parent, the reliable friend. They're the faces we present to the world, but as you turn your gaze to the mirror, a question bubbles up from the depths of your being. Who am I beneath these guises? This isn't just idle curiosity. It's a profound and unsettling realization that the you who laughs a little too loudly at a joke at work or the one who always says yes to avoid conflict might just be a facade. It's the recognition that these roles, while necessary in their own right, might be muffling the voice of your authentic self. This thought is like a crack in a dam, and once it's there, the waters of doubt and introspection begin to seep through. You start to notice the moments when your mask feels tight and comfortable. When being the perfect anything starts to chafe. It's in these moments that the real journey begins. The quest not for perfection, but for authenticity. What if you allowed yourself to step out from behind these masks? To let the world see the person who's been operating behind the curtain? It's a risk. The masks are safe, familiar, and the thought of discarding them is akin to standing at the edge of a great chasm preparing to step into the unknown. Yet, there's a pull towards that edge. A desire to leap and see if you can fly. Because deep down you understand that authenticity isn't just about being true to others. It's about being true to yourself. It's about aligning your external life with the internal truths you've perhaps ignored for too long. It's about finding harmony in the dissonance, about making the music of your life something genuine and uniquely yours. This is the intelligence of the soul, the deep dive into the waters of self-discovery. It's not about intelligence in the traditional sense, but a deeper wisdom that comes from knowing oneself. It's the realization that the most profound knowledge we can attain isn't about the world around us, but the universe within us. We must strip back these layers to confront the discord that arises when our outward lives misalign with our inner truth. This cognitive dissonance is not mere discomfort, but a guiding light towards authenticity, signaling when we stray from our destined path. As Carl Jung taught, to look inward is to awaken. Are you ready to stir from your slumber? This dissonance is not just psychological unease. It's a beacon towards authenticity. A reminder that our discomfort is a critical step towards growth. A necessary unease on our journey to align our external existence with our internal values. It reflects the intricate interplay of human existence, where the struggle to be authentic is as tangible as the roles we are compelled to assume. In pursuit of self We not only discover our essence, but also carve a path to a life of authenticity and fulfillment. 
This is our manifesto, a call to rise to our full potential, unmasked and fearless. Yet true awakening extends beyond discarding masks and involves integrating our shadows, those neglected facets of our personality we shy away from. As Jung said, enlightenment comes not from envisioning beings of light, but from making the darkness conscious. Our shadows harbor our fears, insecurities, and suppressed desires. To integrate the shadow is to bring these aspects into the light of consciousness for examination and understanding. Taming the ego is also vital. The ego craving acknowledgement and fearing insignificance can lead us off course. It is the voice that insists on outshining others to affirm our worth. The voice that dreads the vulnerability of authenticity. Taming the ego means recognizing its role without letting it steer our life's course. It is not master in its house. And as we shed these layers, integrate our shadows, and tame our egos, we stand on the brink of awakening. It is a moment teeming with both danger and opportunity. What truths will surface when shadows are embraced and the ego subdued? We must have the courage to question, to dive deep into our being, scrutinizing our actions, beliefs, and very identity. Why do we act as we do? Do our actions reflect our true selves, or are they performances for others? We must dig beyond superficial answers to uncover the driving forces of our passions and values. But what if we discover challenges all we thought we knew? The quest for self-discovery is a deep pilgrimage to the heart of our existence. It compels us to face the entirety of our nature, to sift through the shadows and light within, and to choose deliberately the essence we will nurture. In an era where authenticity is obscured by constant exhibition, to remain true to oneself is an act of rebellion, a declaration of strength. This manifesto is a solemn vow for authenticity, a commitment to align the soul we bear in solitude with the face we present to the world. It is a journey without end, a relentless pursuit of personal truth and integrity. Upon this path, each solitary quest is a strand in the grand tapestry of awakening, a confluence of solitary sojourns that, together, summon a revolution of consciousness. Here we are both the smiths and the forged, shaping and being shaped by the ideals that burn in our collective crucible. In the alchemy of self-knowledge, we unearth the bedrock of our being and find our rightful place. It's time to cast off the veils that shroud our spirits, to ascend with valor to the zenith of our latent power and to seize the profound depths of our being. With resolve that trembles the very stars and the odyssey of the soul, to know thyself is to hold a mirror to the cosmos, for in the depths of one's being lies the reflection of the infinite. Human fluence out. Out.